Driving a super fast car on a racetrack can be mind-boggling. Imagine instead of aiming for the next turn, you're heading for a dirt path that goes off the track. First, you're focused on the sound of the tires gripping the road, then suddenly, there's no such noise. Just a loud V10 engine as you slide sideways on a Sunday curve. That's what it's like with the 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Storato, maybe the craziest supercar ever made. Hey there luxury enthusiasts, welcome back to Luxury Idol Tips, the channel where we explore the epitome of opulence and extravagance. I'm your host, Luxury Idol, and today we're diving headfirst into the world of high-end automotive perfection as we unveil the Lamborghini Huracan Sterato. Buckle up because we're about to embark on an adrenaline-fueled journey like no other. The Lamborghini Huracan Sterato is about to show us what it's truly made of, and I can't wait to share it all with you. What makes the Huracan Sterato special? Take a glance at the pronounced fenders of this vehicle. The rally-inspired light attachment seamlessly integrated into its angular front end, the snorkel mounted on the roof, and the unique tires that adorn the Huracan. It's evident that this is no ordinary supercar. This Dorato embodies a fusion of Bruce Wayne's sophistication with the ruggedness of Max Frankenstein's It exudes a touch of elegance alongside a whole lot of toughness, marking the first Lamborghini since the LM002 that can truly handle off-road terrain with style. The Hardware The secret to this transformation can unsurprisingly be discovered hidden behind and beneath the enlarged and texture fender arches of the 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Storato. The ride height has been raised by 1.7 inches compared to the 2020 Motor Trend Best Driver's Car winning Huracan Evo, which serves as its base, bringing it a total of 6.4 inches. Moreover, the car's MagnaRide dampers have undergone revisions to allow for increased wheel travel and have been returned to accommodate potential variations in the off off-roading environment. For instance, in the unique rally drive mode of the Sterato, the dampers have been adjusted to soften the front and during heavy braking, enabling quicker turn-in. Complementing these suspension modifications is a distinctive set of Bridgestone tires. The dueler all-terrain AT002 run flat tires mounted on smaller 19-inch wheels, the smallest size that can clear the Huracan's brakes, are specifically designed to deliver excellent grip at high speeds on dirt, gravel, and mud surfaces without completely sacrificing the Huracan's on-road performance. Completing the package is a 5.2-liter V10 engine positioned in the middle of the car. However, it has been turned down to 602 horsepower from its original 630 horsepower. This detuning was necessary because Lamborghini needed to seal off the side-mounted air intakes of the Huracan to prevent the ingestion of dirt and dust. Instead, they replaced these intakes with a single scoop mounted on the roof. The torque output remains consistent at 413 pound-feet and the power is channeled through a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission to an all-wheel drive system, which is further enhanced by a mechanical rear limited sleep differential. The overall appearance is complemented by full-length aluminum skid plates under the car, rally lights, roof rails, and additional body cladding. Some minor adjustments have been made to the bumpers and side rockers resulting in approach, breakover, and departure angles of 2.4, 14.7, and 26.5 degrees respectively for the Huracan Storato. When you examine this pairing on paper, it might appear as a somewhat opportunistic effort to extend the Huracan's lifestyle while Lamborghini prepares for its successor. However, in reality, it could turn out to be one of the most playful and enjoyable Lamborghinis ever manufactured. Driving the Huracan Storato Certainly, while the Storato boasts improved approach, breakover, and departure angles, these factors hold little significance at Chakwala Valley Raceway. The off-road-oriented vehicle effortlessly conquers the racetrack's front straight. Stepping on the responsive brake pedal, which manages the standard carbon ceramic brakes, Desterado, equipped with Bridgestone altering tires, more details on those later, 
gracefully maneuvers into turn 1. As it exits turn 3, the tires seem to plead for leniency under stress, and when in sports mode, the vehicle indulges in a generous amount of sideways playfulness. However, on this particular day, we choose to forego entering turn 4. Instead, we opt to switch to rally mode using the steering wheel toggle and head off into the sun-drenched desert. Voluntarily steering the Cerrado into the sandy terrain may seem unusual, but with the deft maneuver of the responsive steering wheel, which features a quick and fixed ratio steering rack, it proves to be exceptional for executing a Scandinavian flick. Lamborghini deliberately opted not to include rear axis steering in this model as it would have complicated the vehicle's dynamics when paired with the all-terrain tires. Nonetheless, even without rear axle steering, the brake-based torque vectoring system pivots the vehicle, causing the air to yield a sturdy envelope to the high-priced rally car. With the simple pull of the sizable shift paddles mounted on the steering column, the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission swiftly shifts gear. The Haldex all-wheel drive system redistributes torque between the axles and the Serato makes it succeed, leaving behind a dust plume reminiscent of the Roadrunner. It's not just for off-road. Setting aside the Storado's off-road capabilities, Lamborghini has possibly crafted the finest road-worthy Huracan to date. Its comfort translates into a pleasant ride on the highway and the minimal noise from the all-terrain tires makes it the ideal Huracan for a cross-country journey. When navigating winding mountain roads, you'll notice more pitching and rolling compared to any previous Huracan. And the steering is remarkably quick and light, often requiring mid-corner adjustments until you become accustomed to it. However, none of these aspects diminish the overall experience. When you push it to the limit, the Bridgestone tires provide what is likely the highest level of grip we've ever measured from all-terrain rubber. It's worth noting that those fender flares aren't just for aesthetics. Both the front and rear tracks have been widened by 1.2 and 1.3 inches respectively, granting the Serato a bit more stability and confidence on the road. Aside from a digital inclinometer, a display showing pitch and roll and GPS coordinates presented on the central screen, the interior of the Serato closely resembles that of any other Huracan. One of the standout features is its capability to sync with an Apple Watch and monitor your heart rate. And when you're behind the wheel of the Storato, your heart might race faster than ever before. In fact, compared to all Huracan variants that came before it, the Lamborghini delivers an even more accelerating and thrilling experience. And there you have it, fellow luxury enthusiasts! Our adventure with the Lamborghini Huracan Storato has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed this thrilling ride as much as I did. The Storato, a Lamborghini that dares to defy expectations and conquer every terrain with sheer elegance and power. Thank you for being a part of the Luxury Idol Tips community, where we explore the world of opulence and extravagance together. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, remember, the pursuit of luxury is an art form, and here at Luxury Idol Tips, we're your guides to mastering it. Stay classy, stay fabulous, and I'll see you in the next episode.